Hi friends, today in this video we are going to create a school management system for WordPress website. As you can see this is the website which we are created and this is a demo website for a school management system. In this website you can see there are a lot of menus are available. A students registration form is available so the students can apply for the online registration they can submit their all details here on this form and they can submit and they will get a username password and the parents login is any available here and the student can see the exam result on this website so they can choose the exam and they can choose the roll number and they can choose the roll number and they can see the result of their exam and there is a admit card option is available so the students can print out the exam hall ticket or the exam admit card from the website so the students can select the exam and they can enter the roll number and they can print the admit card on this website and you can see the students image is available so they can print out the admit card from this website and there are lot of options are also available so they can print out the admit card with the printer okay and a login section is available so the students can login into the website and they can check the details of their school and one more thing there is a zoom app option is available so the teachers can start the online teaching classes like this on the zoom app they can start and there is an accounting option is available and library option is available all these options we can assign particular staff for this so they can open only these particular sections if they if we created a staff for the hostel then the staff can op can open this hostel section only right okay now we can check how to create this website so first buy a domain and hosting and you can check the link below this video and you can click there and you can buy a hosting plan this is a cloud hosting plan and it's very powerful for this type of website so you can purchase a cloud hosting and you can adjust the time length here choose for 12 months and search your domain is available and this is a free domain when you choose with the hosting plan so you will get this domain for free once you finish that you can check out the plan okay you can choose a payment method and you can complete the checkout once you complete the checkout you will get a email notification on your web, gmail or your email account about your control panel and hosting so you can go to the control panel your control panel will be look like this and click on the manage section and here we are going to install wordpress Now go to the auto installer option and 
and choose the WordPress and select your domain and username password fill all these details and just click on install okay, once you install your website will be look like this this is the default website so just type wp admin along with that and you can enter into your dashboard there type your username and password there okay now you can open your website from the dashboard like this and go to the plugin section and click on the install plugins and deactivate all the plugins which we don't want this is the default plugins come along with the wordpress so just delete that plugins okay once you delete that just click on home and go to the appearance click on themes and click on add new click on upload theme and choose the file the theme link is i will give in the description box and you can download it from there just install now and activate that theme once you activated the theme you can install all the plugins comes along with the theme just install and activate all the themes and wait for some time to get installed just go back to the plugin settings and just activate all the plugins once you finish that you can see on your website the changes also right now go to the plugin settings and you can just deactivate the WP Bakery page builder because we are using this website with Elementor. So just close all these stuffs and now just click on RT Demo Importer. Click on Install Demo Contents. And now just install any of this plugin you can use with the WP Bakery page builder, Elementor page builder you can select from these options as you are seeing in the video now choose a demo and you can start importing now just click on the install button option and click on ok and wait for some time to get installed if any problems comes just refresh and do again on the install option if it will take long so long time then you can just refresh and just click on install again okay, now our website demo is imported now we can just edit all these stuffs you can see our demo is imported successfully without any error all images and everything is and everything is just imported now you can change all these things according to your requirements it's super easy now just click on layer slider and this is the slider which we are using on this website just click on these things and now just edit the layer slider like this you can change the image of the slider you can add your own image you can add your own banners and all these things you can add and you can change the text as also here you 
can select the slide as you want to edit and you can replace the image text etc as you are seeing on the video it's easy now you can change all the settings as you are seeing you can change the size if you want you can add more slides also you can change the transitions links all these things you can change here once you make the changes click on save and you can go to your website and you can see the changes now we can edit and edit the front page like click on the edit with elementor and elementor is a page builder very good page builder you can edit any section by just clicking on that particular section and you can see on the left hand side there will be a option to edit all these things you can just edit and you can edit the navigation styles all these styles you can see on the back end of your dashboard if you want to delete a section just close that section now if you want to change a banner you can change just clicking on that particular section and you can change the image you can add the image for your website like this just close the unwanted elements and click on update if you want you can add new sections also by clicking that plus icon okay now you can see the changes here now we can check how to edit the header section and the footer section of the website now just click on the header section and you can see there is a menu option is available you can change that menu you can change the logo, the logo here you can add the new logo for your website and you can see the changes live on your website here once you finish that you can change the layer top bar layout and all these settings you can change here if you want to edit the mobile or phone number you can just shift and click on that particular section and you can edit that also here you can change the email address and all these things you can just clicking on that just clicking on that now you can go to the menu name and you can change the menu name here once you make any change click, click on the publish option and here you can change the footer text and all these things and the same things you can do it on your wordpress dashboard also on the appearance settings and on the theme options you can change all these things there also so now we are selecting the customize section and we are changing the details or if you want you can change the backend right okay once you make any change click on the publish option then only the changes will be take place 
and you can click on the publish and you can change any section by just shift and click then you can edit that particular section right you can change or you can copy and paste the contents of your website you can change the image you can change the title you can add your own title for the particular section as you are seeing in the video you can change the information about your school now just click on that and you can change all these settings you can change the menu if you want you can add new sections of that menu also here okay once you finish that just close and you can see the changes here okay now go to the pages section here you can create or you can delete the pages if you want you can check the pages here and you can just delete the unwanted page and if you want to edit the particular page you can edit with elementor also. unwanted pages and you can edit all that pages or if you want you can delete the unwanted pages here just before deleting check the pages if you need then you can leave that page and you can select all the unwanted demo pages and you can delete that and now just click on apply and you can delete the unwanted pages right after that go to the learn plus option here you can add course lesson all these things you can add here you can add new course about your school you can add the details of the courses click on the add new button and you can add new courses and on the lessons section you can add new lessons it's super easy and you can do it by yourself without any problem now you can add quizzes questions and all these things you can add here now you can go to the settings section and here is a page setup option is available you can add the pages for that particular section currency option is available you can change your currency into your default currency you can change the currency position and you can click on save settings now go to the zoom method meeting options and here also you can change the zoom settings options and this section we can be check on a uh, next section okay go to the plugin section and click on add new and upload the plugin school management system okay this plugin also i will give in the description box and you can just download and install that plugin now just activate the plugin and go to the school management plugin settings as you are seeing in the video plugin settings as you are seeing in the video and click on that and you will be redirected to a 
dashboard of that plugin. And you can see the school default the school details here. You can edit it later here. And you can see all the details of the schools in a dashboard. Now go to the settings section. And here you can set up all the basic settings of the school. You can upload the school logo. You can change the redirect URL. All these settings you can do here. Now you can change the email carrier. You can add a name for the school for the email template like this you can add the email templates for each templates you can add email templates and SMS carrier option is available you can choose MSG 91 and we already created a video for configuring the MSG 91 you can watch that you can add the SMS template here for all the SMS template you can add and register payment method is available you can choose the register pay payment gate you can choose the register pay payment gateway as we did a video for that also and the enquiry section is available and the registration section is available registration section is available and all these things you can enable or disable according to your requirements dashboard parent dashboard settings are available short codes are available these short codes are very important so just we can create or paste it on a new page go to the pages section click on add new for each and every short code so just copy and paste this short code into a new page for the fee submission form you have to create a page like this fee submission form then you can add that short code there so the students can directly submit the fees on our website right now just paste that short code as you are seeing in the video and now just publish and you can view the page now the students can enter the fees online like this the admission inquiry form you can add the admission inquiry form and like this you can add all the short codes as you are seeing in the video just create a page for the particular section and you can add that particular short code to that page like the registration form and just paste the short code there click on publish once you created the page you can just check on the live so you can see if there is an, an, any error or something like that like this all the short code in a new page as you are seeing in the video
okay once you finish all the short code add adding the short code you can select the charts option and you can select the chart the dates here zoom live class is available and the logging option is available so here you can check all the details of the usage here okay okay once you finish that you can go to the appearance and menus and you can add newly created pages to your menu or if you want to create a new menu just click on create a new menu and you can add the new menu here you can add a menu name and you can uh, you can see this is the menu so we want a new menu for our website now just click on the create menu section and you can add the newly created menu here this is we created created pages now with that short code so you can add the particular pages to the new menu and click on view all and you can add the home page and you can add the important sections for the pages that you can add to the menu here add all the menus add all the pages like this okay now you can edit the label of the menu you can edit all the particular section you can see all the pages here so you can add all the all that pages into the menu right you can rearrange the option here or if you want to create a custom link you can add the custom link on the menu section just type an hash and you can just type a custom link text for the menu just type students corner and you can rearrange the menu here like this you can rearrange all the menu click on save menu and go to your wordpress and just refresh and you can see the changes you can see now our menu is changed okay now you can see now go to your zoom meeting option and we can set up the zoom meeting option now just click on the settings and now we can change actually this is a demo api key and api secret key now go to the zoom.us a key and api secret key now go to the zoom.us and sign in and here you can log in with your google or facebook account and you can create an account on zoom now just click on create account and just accept the terms and conditions 
and click on the JWT option as you are seeing in the video. Now just add all the app credentials like details here. You can upload a logo for the Zoom. You can add your company name and all the details you can add here about the company name, developer contact information. All these things you can add here. You can add your email address. Now just click on continue. And now your API key and API secret is generated. Now just copy and paste it on your website like this copy and paste all the credentials to your website and the vanity URL section just leave as it is you don't need that and all other settings you can disable or enable according to your requirements it's easy and you can change according to your requirements you can change the default time change the default time format and everything and click on save changes and click on check api connection and uh, api connection is good so please refresh just ok now go to the zoom options and we can create a new zoom meeting now just click on add new and you can add a title for the meeting and you can add password duration all these things you can change here about the zoom you can enable or disable all these options according to your requirements and now just click on the publish once you finish once you finish that click on view meetings and this meeting you can be this link you can send it to your members and you can start the meeting Now just click on join and your meeting is starting ok now you can go to the dashboard and click on the settings section here you can change all the school management settings like short code and all these settings we already done so we don't want to create a new short code or anything ok now just leave as it is now school to your school address here like this if you have more than one school you can add that once you finish that just click on update school right now you can just click on the classes section and you can add the classes for the school here by default there is a class from 1 to 12 so you don't need to add anything like this go to the sessions and you can do that now go to the school section and we can assign cl classes for those schools so select all and we can save the same classes so all these classes are assigned for our the Delhi school or our default school and now go to the SM school student section academic section and all these things you can manage here go to the admission here you can add all the details of the students 
and you can start adding all your students and there is a bulk importing option also available you can check that also you can just upload it from the excel or csv spreadsheet etc you can bulk upload okay now once i added a sample student here for testing purpose you can see click on the student section and you can see i added the student name here click on id card section here you can generate id card for the students i actually added only one student if you add a lot of students or all students you can just generate all the id cards bulk now promote option is available you can promote the students here like this you can add you can add the students details you can add the students details and all these things you can check on your website and you can transfer the students all these settings you can check with your website so just download the plugin the link i will give in the description box you can just download from there okay you can create the certificates for the students we can add a new certificate now just click on add new certificate and you can see this is the certificate image you can add the background image and you can change all this change all these settings all the forms and all these things you can change Okay, now go to the staff section and you can add a new staff for your school here on the staff section and you can give permission to that particular staff and this staff can use that particular section of our website so if you are go to the staff attendance and you can see the staff attendance here now go to the exam section click on add new exam and you can add some exam details here you can add the you can add the exam center you can add the exam date you can add the start date of the exam you can choose the end date and you can choose the class and all these things you can add here you can add the subject name maximum mark paper code room number of the exam all these things you can add here you can choose the admit card room numbers exam result all these things you can add and click on add new exam and now the exam is already added to our database and now we can create the admit card for the particular exam so just click on the admit admit cards and click on the generate section and you can see the view admitted card section now you click on the generate admit card section and choose the student here and you can generate the admit card 
okay you have to add the admission number of the student which we added earlier you can just add that you can add the prefix as cs by default and now generate the admit card now the admit card has been generated you can see here and you can see this is the admit card like this you can up generate the bulk admit card for that particular exam and this is for the testing website testing website that's why i created one once you finish that just pause and click on the exam results section and you can add the result you can add the result here for the student you can select the student and you can add the student's mark here obtain the mark maximum mark all these things you can see here once you finish that just click on add exam result and result assessment section is available and all these things you can manage here and library section is available all the sm related plugin settings are about school management so you can change all the settings there as you are seeing the sm transport exam library SM is the short form of school management right okay, here you can create the library settings and you can assign a particular staff for this library or the transport section right you can click on the vehicles routes etc here hostel section is available all these settings you can change according to your requirements as this is a demo website for a creating this video that's why i'm not explaining everything you can just download and you can check all these settings okay thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel